Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. It was just reported from the Wall Street Journal that Palmer 80 was raided by the ATF on Thursday, December 10th. And many other outlets picked up from that Wall Street Journal article, and they are reporting it. So if you haven't heard already, this is making big news throughout the gun world. People are wondering why this happened. Now, part of the reports was that they failed to pay taxes and that they were shipping actual firearms across state lines. Firearms that did not include a serial number, nor did it require to be transferred by a federal firearms licensed dealer. And so it was stated that the law enforcement was having trouble verifying these firearms that they were getting in the hands of criminals and that criminals were using the firearms against law-abiding people and even law enforcement. But does that warrant a raid? This, this is what the great question is because up until now, Polymer 80 receivers and uh, pistol frames were legal because they were not an actual firearm. Therefore, they did not have a serial number. Therefore, it is not a firearm and therefore it is completely legal. It's basically a part, no different than buying any other part online. Think about a hammer or any other tool that would generate in that same class. But it seems to me that the ATF uh, upon themselves took it as an actual firearm, reclassified a Polymer 80, and they raided Polymer 80. And this is making big news. Now, many people are speculating, as am I, does Biden have something to do with this? You know, he said all along, I'm going to go after the ghost guns, and Biden is not in power. He's in no position right now to make these types of decisions, to, to demand the ATF to go raid them at this point. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. The people at Polymer 80 are, are not saying anything. Nobody was arrested. They simply took the records of the paperwork of the people who purchased Polymer 80s, and they now have that. So if you purchased one of these parts, which is what it is, a part, then your information is now in the hands of the ATF. So I would strongly suggest that you, you you be careful because you just might get a knock on the door or perhaps a a uh, letter in the mail or whatever stating that you are now illegal that part is uncertain that's just my speculation but it does make us wonder where has it started and where is it going to end okay failing to pay taxes i i get that but that doesn't warrant a raid i would think that would be handled in a court of law why a raid with no arrests. So did Polymer 80 actually break the law? It certainly doesn't seem that they did. They did by not paying taxes, if that is true. I questioned everything from the Wall Street Journal, by the way, which is the main source of this. A lot of people uh, who operate websites grabbed the information from there. I questioned them big time because they actually featured me in there and I was shooting a 22 long rifle, long gun, and they called it a uh, a very powerful high caliber gun and so I I just give them very little credit but it seems to me that this actually did happen and that the ATF has taken it upon themselves to classify a 80 percent lower receiver part or a pistol frame as an actual firearm and this could be looking into the future as to what the future holds with these 80% lower. So that's what happened. We'll have to see how this all turns out. It it certainly doesn't look good. From the onset, it's like, why are you messing? Like, they've been around for years now. This is nothing new. People have committed crimes for years now. That is nothing new. However, they committed supposed crimes with this. It was also reported that there have been over 10,000 crimes. So they're stating that People who normally could not get a gun, they couldn't pass a background check, are now getting these polymer 80s, creating firearms, and then they are creating crime. I, I have my doubts about all of that, but I also am not privy to the information. But it certainly seems rather strange that the ATF would make a random raid and gather the information of the law-abiding people who purchased these products, which are parts, for 
their own personal firearm collection or whatever the case it seems pretty bad and i'm really hoping this isn't something that is yet to come even to a further degree if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe